Hello! So, for the last few months I've been using this Nerdforge sketchbook and I thought I will give you a quick review and tell you if I, uh, if I like using it or not. Uh, Martina from Nerdforge is an extremely talented artist. I love what she creates, like she paints and the, there are all of these dioramas. So, if you don't know her, but Come on, you probably do. <laughs> you can check out her YouTube channel. And yeah, when I saw that she launched these beautiful sketchbooks, I just knew immediately that I had to have it. So the sketchbook costs $33. And I think it's a very reasonable price considering the thickness and general quality of the sketchbook and the paper um, but <laughs> it does rise quite a lot uh, at checkout I'm based in uh, EU which means I got some huge import taxes and there's also a cost of shipping so the end price were about $50 uh, this depends obviously on where you live and it can vary between countries but <laughs> yeah it ended up being a little bit pricey but still the sketchbook is huge so it was quite okay I still decided to buy it <laughs> so first of all the sketchbook is absolutely beautiful the cover is really lovely design and it just looks like some kind of a spell book uh, filled with magic. Uh, it says make stuff with stories and it has this like medieval feel. It is A5 size and has 200 pages which are 180 grams. The paper is really nice and thick. It's also very soft, doesn't have any heavy texture, which makes it perfect for all kinds of different media like uh, pencils, gouaches and pastels and yeah, everything. Usually the watercolor papers have like this really grainy texture, especially cold pressed ones. And uh, it's really hard to work with pencils on that because it leaves these uh, textured lines. And this one is uh, like really great for adding details with pencils. So I already feel like about a third of the sketchbook and I really enjoyed it so far. I tried using uh, gouaches, acrylic gouaches, pencils, new colors uh, and watercolors in it and it all worked just fine. So, uh, so the one problem that I have is that I use a lot of water when I paint, especially for the first few layers. Uh, I'm putting them kind of thin and very watery so the paper rings a lot. Uh, wrinkles a lot. Um, it's a 180 gram paper so obviously it won't act like a watercolor paper but this is what's happening when put the, too much water and this is not a big deal. I mean this is a sketchbook. So the second problem I have is um, with using new colors and I thought at first it was a problem with new colors, like it transfers uh, to the other side. You can see the best here on the front page. Uh, and I've tried using fixative, it did nothing. <laughs> and then I just decided to put a tissue paper every, every two pages so they won't get ruined. And I thought it was a fault of the new colors. It probably kind of is, right? But uh, in the sketchbook that I was using a few videos ago, the tiny handmade sketchbook, I had a different paper there and it was not happening. So I guess this paper is just 
maybe better for pencils and not so much for new colors. I'm still using them because like I'm still putting <laughs> tissue paper all over. And I think once I'm done, I can get rid of it because this is only happening when I'm painting on the next side and like pressing. So yeah. Also, after a few weeks of using, it started disconnecting a little bit from the cover. Nothing major. I wasn't very gentle with it, but yeah. Like overall, it's a great sketchbook. I really enjoyed using it for the last few months for my daily uh, art. I did a lot of lovely artworks. Oh, this is empty. <laughs> uh, yeah. But as you can see, this beast is huge and I have no idea when I will finish it. So this is definitely something really personal, but it turned out that I would prefer uh, thinner sketchbooks with less pages and the uh, ones that I can actually finish in a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> Because, I don't know, I just love this uh, feeling of accomplishment when finishing up a sketchbook. And I also like buying new sketchbooks, which I have too many. <laughs> and starting a new one, getting into it. And this one is such a, so big that I'm working on it for weeks and <laughs> I'm not even done with half of it. So if you like having this big massive sketchbook for a long period of time, this is definitely something uh, for you. Um, I still like it a lot better than my previous sketchbook. It was small skin, some like art collection and it had too heavy texture for me. This one has a lot better paper, even though the mole skin wasn't wrinkling so much um, so I guess I'm still gonna look for a perfect sketchbook for me uh, I'm gonna finish this one I'm really gonna try and finish this one and once I'm done I'm gonna check um, I would like to try Stratform mixed media sketchbook I heard a lot of good reviews and I'm really curious about it it's really pretty and I love the idea to have this giant one and I think I would be extremely happy and proud of myself when I will finish it and would be able to go through it and uh, look at all the art. But now I'm getting really frustrated with how big it is and... I would just like to finish it. Okay, so the sketchbook is great. I absolutely love working in it and uh, the design is really, really, really pretty, but I guess I wouldn't buy it again. Still gonna look for a perfect one. If you have any suggestions for a good sketchbook that's uh, great for mixed media, uh, leave it down below. I would love to try something different and new in the future <laughs> and yeah thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video bye bye